Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All info, no fluff. So let's get to it. If you watched the last video, I talked about layering synths using one MIDI item to basically trigger multiple soft synths. One of my viewers who themselves make great Reaper tutorials, link will be in the description, mentioned pooling MIDI data. I actually talked about it in the last video, but edited it out and I'll tell you why today, but it is a really useful feature. In simple terms, pooling is essentially linking two MIDI items. They share all MIDI data and modifying one affects the other. So let me show you how that works. Let's say I have this Dilruba instrument and I want to also double up this melody on the nate. Let's hear it on its own. to create a pooled MIDI item, select an item, put my cursor at the beginning of the item and go command option and drag. I will get a second MIDI item on whatever track I'm dragging. And there's this like little symbol here. And this basically tells you that these items are pulled. So as you can see, they're identical. Not only that, if I, you know, transpose a note up, you can see that that is being applied to both of them. So in this case, we are doubling the Ne with the Dilruba. However, I don't like using pooling for layering for multiple reasons. First reason is, say I then decide to get rid of the beginning of the item. Well, I have to come and do it for both of them because editing hotkeys aren't tied to pooling. They're tied to grouping. Okay, I can also hit Command and G and then that will group the items. And now whatever I do to them editing wise will also be applied to the grouping. Uh, there's another reason I don't like it. And for that, let me take you to another part of this big project. I have a line that's being doubled by a music box and a canon. So yeah, what I can do is I can pull this. However, the reason I like to use sense is because my music box is just a percussion instrument. This one has a key switch on it. Right. As I'm doubling these things, I am actually adding key switch notes to the canon. That's why my preference is to send all the notes from here to here. And then I have a MIDI item where I place, you know, my key switch instruments. So just as a side note, by default, if I select this item and I start drawing, what you can see is that it's not in sync. Let me just change the color of this so you can see. These two items are not the same. The, and the reason for that is that my edit cursor was here. Wherever my edit cursor is when I select an item, it starts drawing from there. So as you can see, this part and this part are the same. So something you got to do is make sure that your edit cursor is at the beginning of the item so one thing you can do is when you select an item shift double click and shift double click creates the time selection and puts the edit cursor at the beginning then you can draw it out another problem with drawing is what you just saw happened where i tried to start from the beginning but i was closer to the second grid line so it started a little bit later so for all these reasons i also like to create an additional mouse modifier by going to mouse modifiers media item and going to left drag and i have all four modifiers so shift command option and control set to copy item pooling midi source data the way that looks is hold down all modifiers i drag this up and now i have a pulled copy right above it and that's sometimes easier especially if you're zoomed out and can't see the grid line so well. What I personally like to use pooling for is something like this. I have this tabla. And this is just a kind of rough sketch of a loop that I've done. So as you can see, it's not like humanized yet. The velocities are still like at the default amount and it's not really final. It's just like a beat to keep me going. Now, obviously I can loop the item and then I, you know, select a bunch of notes and say, delete them. You can see that it deletes them from the loop. So before, after. However, loops only work if I am indeed looping this. What I want to do for this is that this loop kind of comes and goes. It's there at the beginning and then maybe there's like a big chunk of pause in the middle and then it comes back. So, you know, for that looping obviously doesn't work. What I can do is select the item, put my cursor at the beginning and then drag a pulled copy of that here. And then that pulled copy is there. And then later when I want to humanize this, you know, I can bring the overall velocity down, hold H, maybe adjust them 25% and then hit OK. And now if I select this one, you can see that this one has been humanized as well. So I like using pool data when I'm creating loops and I'm working within one track, then I can pull data from that single track. But if I'm pulling data across multiple tracks, I find that it gets really confusing down the line. If you pull data, if you want to unpool it, so to speak, you just click that button right there and now they're unpooled. And now if I delete a bunch of stuff from here, it won't get deleted from there. So I like the send system but pool system is pretty cool. Have I already said that like a million times? All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.